we're going to live. Uh, so we're currently doing a drunk peggle. Uh, so every time I miss a shot, I am going to drink. And missing is going to basically be, I don't uh, get it in the bucket. And I don't hit any orange. So I lose a ball or something. And it ends up getting in the orange. Uh, thing. And I have already preempted. Last time we had just finished the damn French stages. We'd gone through the French crab stages. And now we're on to the okay, the flower one helps get the that's okay, we're on to dock here. I think the easiest shot is this one. Which is the first shot. Did you spied as much covered as last what a point boost though, that's so good. Okay, that was a dub to the ball. Uh, if I hit this, I probably will bounce into that. Oh yeah, I'll get it eventually. Okay, so far so good. So far no need to drink. We will see though. We will see. Once it gets like to the later parts of this This is kind of an e easier power up. Because it helps get them. Uh, but once we get to the later stuff. Like trying to get that or that one even. I may have fucked myself. Shit. Uh, first sip, then. Damn it. I was really hoping it was gonna, like, get caught here. It didn't let me do get this one, though. And hopefully that one. Fuck. Ah, that means that one's gonna be okay. This is just gonna go straight into the bucket. Ah, uh, not that you don't want to do this. I'm getting, I'm, I'm not getting, pe I'm being the pegger. There's a, the pegor. There's a difference. Okay, why did it just go like automatic? Oh. I have a, I had a, on my mouse, I have something that automatically moves in a direction. That's why I accidentally clicked that. And that's why I fucked up that shot. Okay, let's go for some easy shots. Okay, that, that does, I means I don't have to drink. Okay, theoretically. No, why? Fuck. And of course, if I fail the level, I also have to drink. Alright, no drinks there. This is another one that's clear now. This one, I think... Oh shit, it's the last ball. Fuck. I can bounce it off here and probably slide it. No. Fine. Okay. Oh, that means I'm screwed. the grand. 
スキーみたいなのもあるのかな。<音楽>アリスティスのほうがいいかもしれない。Because this gives a percent of the remaining orange pegs, so if I leave it for too long, it's not that useful. So it does do like the closest ones you can get, like hard to reach spots, like these, theoretically, later. Uh, but I think we go for that. We almost got. Despite being a bartender, I don't normally drink that much. Generally, I was like a s my alcohol. And I have weird, like, I like a lot of, like, sweeter stuff. I don't like the taste of most alcohol that much. So, I'm a bit concerned if, like, the trend of the last, at least, like, the, not the last, but the, pre, the first round is I'm gonna be drinking a bit more than I can. Okay, three b 
falls in four. I think we should be able to have it. Okay, yeah. Good. Can we get another one? This one. Three balls more, I guess. We need a lot of balls for pegging. At least two. Go on, go on. Not 10,000, not chuck. One of these days we're gonna Yeah, I don't know. So you can wilt right now and be totally happy. Imagine being happy, it's gonna be fun. Just share some of that happiness. I was gonna say if that missed that orange pin, that would be Okay, that makes things Just not 10,000. Okay. And we got like a multiplier. So we didn't get it. One of these days we're gonna get it above the 8 score again. I swear the only time I've ever gotten like an A score in Peggle is on that last Peggle stream. Even in like my brother when I was uh, playing off stream and stuff. Dalton Donald. <laughs> Actually turned out well. That's good. I'm hoping we'll get those. Yeah. But again, we got a free ball out of it. Fuck. I have a bad feeling about this. Okay, we finally got that one, that's something. Okay, that's good, that's good. Okay, now we need to get both of these. score for me. We already even made it above 100,000 points. Right, now we're done with this one that actually, like, fully guarantees that I, act, that I get, uh, I don't have to drink when I get the ring. Fantastic. 
Oh, it's the Drake. I hate the Drake. The fireball is like. Mighty power is not for the team. Like, it's nice for, like, this, because it goes straight through. But it doesn't bounce well. I'd rather, like... This is the best way to get it. I, I didn't really get the pants actually. They have like added more terrain, I guess, for lack of a better term, on these levels than the ones in like Pego Deluxe. And so it is a bit easier. Uh, because I can bounce off it, I guess. Yeah, free ball, baby. And we get 100,000 on ace, ace score. Oh, okay. It's not even, normally, I thought they were usually like above 300,000, but I guess not. That's good. It's like a celebratory drink for acing it. But yeah, it's like, they're more like levels like this, where you can't really bounce it off the terrain, which is good. Okay, we got most of that out of the way, that's pretty good. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Seems to bounce weird. I don't know. Uh, I think you can get that too, but I'm not fully sure. this level if you want to make it 50,000. Okay, right. does this have any... game
that, it just bounces with you. I'm telling you. Okay, we should have this one in the bag. I'm gonna add the roar if I drink if it's 10,000. Yeah, they're definitely, I think, added a lot more, like, blocking of terrain than in the previous game, which is nice for the, for the dragon one, because it felt like you really just, like, would hit, try to hit the bucket and just, like, ha hope it bounces properly. And it so here it feels like you can actually, like, still try and get, like, nice bounces. I guess I how do I even get this? How did we miss that one? Bruh. Okay, 50,000. Don't have to drink for that. Okay. Almost done the dragon one. It's still my least favorite of the powers, I think. Uh, maybe the pyramid. At least I like us. Genius, I'm a genius, but perfectly timed. That wasn't a great try. Yes, and we got hundred thousand.
I'm also gonna drink if I just get a shitty power. Because I feel like that's fair. Like if I get with a magic hack, so I don't think that's fair. score is probably the thing, but like Molokie Ball is also really good. And then... Let's roll this this could be a better than I expected at the game, to be honest. I wasn't expecting to do this good. Sometimes it can't kill you. Like you can survive ridiculously high falls and stuff, but it feels like it'll do something. The parachute's not gonna really mitigate it that much at a certain point. Yeah, at least we're raking up some points.
Sadako, even though this level doesn't really have any terrain, it's pretty shaped and all. I think that's part of why I like Kaigo. It's just fun shape. Chat. The sharks are getting drunk, have a low alcohol tolerance, and then drink on an empty stomach. Because, you know, they all, everyone says don't drink in an empty stomach, but they're wrong. If you want to get drunk. Otherwise, probably don't do it. It's bad idea anyway. I remember they uh, teaching us that why it's a bad idea in my uh, bartending class. Yeah. So, don't do it. Drink responsibly, kids. But, if you want to get drunk, just have a low alcohol tolerance. Drinking an empty stomach. So it affects you easily. Drink as much to get drunk. That's, that's how you do it. That's the secret. Oh, and medication helps. Medication for them. They, uh, doesn't go with. Actually know what to do. The auction says don't drink on the medication. <laughs> Is this level gonna be progressed for me? Fuck, yes it is. Oops, that was Let's go, let's 
try and see what I got my cut down. Free ball, free ball, that's good. I'm gonna wait till it comes back to me. Okay, that didn't work, but it did. I am going to go into that. Let's see. Go right back. I am back. Oh, and I can tell my alcohol is all messing up though when I haven't even finished it and I'm getting this full headache. I think that's the downside of drinking. I don't know, just that much of a is more headache. Or medica drinking with medication. Could be that part. That's the other potential. Let's see, no. No traps or anything. So, this is usually my last level. Of course, there's a trap still. You'll get me. I can read the numbers. I don't even know what magic the magic app power does. I think it just it 
pegs the stuff that's above it, I think. Yeah. It just doesn't seem that useful, I feel like. At least it stacks. That's nice. See, there was a trap over here. Also, what do you do with the other one? Just keep it going. You have two hands, don't you? Also, why is this foot so big? I don't like that. have six balls and I still have to rest of them. That would really suck. That was a terrible I may be in trouble, lads. Come on, space fast, space fast. Fucking magic. Fuck. Literally the worst one. great, but you might still be able to get it in the door. It's not great getting triple score this early because you don't have like a huge multiplier. This should be possible now. The game 
really decided to just fuck me over on that one, huh? Oh, I get it, because it rhymes. Does rock music usually rhyme? Zen ball with W power up is basically just aim assist for Peggle. See, it takes like my shitty shot and does a way better one. That's what I not the aim assist zen ball is not like on this so if you just do like a really bad shot you can't really fix that okay we might ace it Got like above 300,000. We ace it with the mail, but I guess not. At this point in the meditation, one must rock out utterly. I'd be down to do that kind of medic medi meditation. I said medication there. I prescribe you rocking out. Think this through. I'm not sure where I actually should. What if I just aim it at the orange? <laughs> I wanted to do this later in the week because I could get some better alcohol, but I ha I'm working more like on Thursday uh, and then on the weekend and stuff, and so I didn't want to, you know, be working on uh, more work and all that. I'm working like all close trip stuff, which isn't that bad actually. Because it means I'm a bit less likely to have to do uh, like food prep, which is the area I'm like the weakest in, I think. Like the POS and stuff, I, I learned pretty quickly. 
but like food prep and like making coffees and stuff. I don't know how to make like a proper espresso. Americano or whatever the hell they're called. Mocha. I don't know what like that's like a whole foreign language. I just don't drink coffee. It's like why not just drink, just drink something like cold? Like you know, you know, like on caffeine. Drink soda or something. Like hot drinks in general just do not really make sense to me. I'm very much more of a cold drink person. Like I never really liked it. Like hot chocolate and like you know, coffee I don't like. Tea, not really. Uh, I can kind of get tea a bit more though. I prefer like coffee. I'd rather just like drink a Coke. I don't know why you'd want like to drink something that's like warmer than like lukewarm. It's not like I even like the cold for like other stuff either. Like I don't like cold weather that much. I don't know, like it despite being Canadian. But when it comes to like drinks and like I guess food as well, I really don't mind like temperatures and stuff. Like my favorite food is frozen blueberries. Uh, I like colder drinks and all that. That's where I'm still Canadian. But some like normal food is, is cold. I just don't mind it when it's like cold either. Like poutine, that's a warm food, that's very good. If anyone has hasn't had poutine. Definitely try it. I'm not saying that just because I'm Canadian. It's quite good. It's just like gravy and french fries. And cheese. And you know, cheese is mid. But gravy and french fries are really good, so it kind of carries it. It makes up for the cheese just being, like, mediocre. We all know cheese sucks. Mediocre at best, it's just milk that's gone bad. Why would you ever want to have milk that's gone bad? It's beyond me. Some other flavor members like it for reasons I do not understand. Like, if I can make something to it, like, make the same product from being, like, just a neat and just leaving a milk, like, glass out for a while, then it's not, like, a good food, in my opinion. Like, some cheese is even, like, and some cheese, like, mold is, like, the selling point. Like, that's what makes it, like, I think it's, like, blue cheese or whatever. It's, like, that's the bit, like, that's where the blue comes from. Like, you know, you're, just, you're actively choosing to eat mold. Don't get it. I wonder if Pippa likes it. It's not all bad, but it's not like good. Like, I wouldn't just actively eat it without cheese. And I really don't understand if you like eat cheese. Without anything else. Like, even with like cheese and crackers and stuff, I feel like you need like a bit more.
Like the best part is like a cheese platter and stuff. It's like the stuff that goes on like the bread and like the meats that are with like cheeses and stuff. Not like the actual cheese. The cheese itself is like nice to have along with it, I guess. But like it's not the fo it's not like the best part. Same with like you know, the cheese and like Caesar salad and stuff. You know, the parmesan is nice and all, but like the other stuff, like the bacon and like the real good food. It's very overrated. This is the Shakespeare foods. Completely overrated and old and just silly. I have very strong opinions on Shakespeare after having to do it for like fucking decades at school. I swear to god, I did, I've done, like, more Shakespeare plays than, like, years I've been alive. Nah, that's not true. But I did, like, basically one every single year until, like, middle school. Absolutely miserable. They're not even, like, that good. They're, they're just so overrated. Like, no other, like author or anything does do like schools spend like so much time studying like there's not a single other author who, like works so actively like reading for more than like a year like if you think about it and Shakespeare is not frankly like he's good like he, you know, his stuff's good but he's not that good I would argue that nobody is like that good and so I think if you are gonna be like doing his work and stuff, there are still, there should be less of it, less of him in particular, and like, there's some room for other stuff. Like, personal bias would say, like, you know, have some Tolkien in there, have like, Agatha Christie, uh, Michael Creighton, and all that stuff. Not just like, you know, like, so many years of like bloody Shakespeare and this shit. I have a lot of family in the UK and stuff. And when we went over there, we went to London with family and stuff. And then we were visiting, obviously, some family who was already there. And they don't study it that much, but I, I had to study it for like 12 different 12 years. <laughs> I could have been reading like Tolkien. Like even if you're just looking for a playwright, Agatha Christie. Yeah. Like she's a very good author. Does some good plays and stuff. And she books are like frankly easier to digest because they're not written as if like you know like written in old English. And she writes, like, also honest, actual, honest-to-God books, so it's not all, like, just, just plays. Because reading plays kind of sucks. I will say, the benefit of doing Shakespeare a lot is I do not feel as guilty about annotating his works, just because I don't like them that much. Because normally I don't like annotating books because it feels really weird writing on like books and stuff. It feels wrong. I don't know. But I was able to get over that somewhat with Shakespeare just after I got like so sick of reading his work. It's like I don't really care about the stuff you've written, so I don't mind like defacing it with my annot my scribbling annotations. Whereas if it was like any other book, I think I would feel a lot worse about it. That was okay. Then. I was gonna say that was an awful shot, but actually, kind of hurt right now. That was an awful shot there. The 
Yeah, I really don't like annotating stuff. I don't like... That's the reason I didn't really like reading, like, Fahrenheit uh, 451 and stuff. Because, like, book burning and all that. I don't know. It leaves a really bad taste in my mouth. Because I really like books and reading and that stuff. And it just feels, like, abhorrent to, do, to like, damage a book like that. Or, like, rip it up and all that. I don't know. I feel like I know it's like me kind of, you know, over exaggerating it and stuff, but it just feels like so wrong. Yeah, it's just morally irreprehensible to destroy any book except for Shakespeare. Shakespeare you can destroy. Because we have more than enough Shakespeare books to go around. So bloody many of them. I'm starting to regret all the drinking on an empty stomach and whatever. Because there is a slight headache. I haven't even tried it. But I think it's just my alcohol tolerance failing me. This bloody well non existent. Like, it just really just is not there. And I get more of a bunch of beer. You know what? I'll take that. It wasn't exactly. I was hoping it would. To continue on with the Shakespeare stuff, because that's stuck in my mind now, because I still, it's really, it just sticks there, my stupid, my strong feelings on Shakespeare. But, like, I even say, like, for all, like, the arguments and stuff about, like, more, uh, diverse teachings with, like, uh, history and all that stuff, which I do agree with, because I feel like even, like, in the school where I was, which I do think did a- we had a good history department and everything, we taught a lot of interesting stuff. There could, definitely could have been more variety in it. Uh, I do feel like it is kind of a good opportunity to kind of diversify it a bit with the bloody Shakespeare where you have to- li well, I have to listen to some stupid English guy write, like, 50 plays on, like, like, you know, boring shit about romance and, like, fairies, as if he's on, like, acid or something. Wait, I strongly desire to, like, redirect. Well, not for use some of those, you know, movements. Finally, get rid of Shakespeare because God, I want more than anything to see him rid of like this stupid stuff. It's not that good.
Especially because, like, I feel like there's other stuff that's being changed. And, like, uh, and this is more a specific thing about the I want to. Where they made fire non-mandatory, or like it was like pseudo-mandatory because you could choose you could choose uh, in the music program between uh, choir and band. Uh, choir is better, by the way, uh, because you don't have to carry an instrument around. Uh, like legitimately, that was the only reason I joined it at first. Uh, but I don't think it's great. Fires. If anyone else tells you, if anyone plays an instrument, they're dumb, chat. Trust me. They just couldn't make it in choir. Real gamer. But they made it non mandatory anymore. Because it's gonna eventually just kill the program. Because no one. Like, I wouldn't have taken it if I didn't have to take music. Because I had such a terrible experience in. Uh, elementary school with music teachers and stuff but where they're like you know they're keeping in stuff like Shakespeare and other like you know stuff like, especially because the school like the choir program at the school is like kind of a big part of its reputation and stuff so it's very frustrating that it's being like strangled to death Essentially. Especially because I had such like great experiences with it. Like it was my favorite teacher. I met like a bunch of my friends. Basically all of them through the program. Now it's just gonna die out because no one's gonna take it. Cause like I like I said, I wouldn't have taken it if I didn't have to. And I would have, like, missed out on the best class I had because of that. Said. The nice thing about Shakespeare, the one redeeming quality about Shakespeare works in the studying those, is normally you get to watch like a movie or something as part of the class, which is great. Any class that lets you watch a movie is like that's an automatic big bonus. I know I don't think that makes up for it being boring Shakespeare stuff, but it's you know it helps a lot with that. Not gonna lie, it does help a, a fair bit. Oh god, that was annoying. Fuck. Uh, I'm gonna coast it. Like, some of the best first elementary school were when I got to do French class, where we got to watch uh, the movies and stuff. We, we watched, like, Porco Rosso, uh, my neighbor Totoro, a bunch of stuff, all in French, so I barely understood like, half the stuff in there. I wouldn't have understood none of it if it wasn't for like subtitles and stuff. But we still got to watch it. And that was a big win. And so, in Sh and you don't get as many opportunities in school that, but with Shakespeare, you at least get that. It's like almost guaranteed that you're gonna get to watch it. So that's definitely a big bonus. Yeah, we watched a lot of Studio Ghibli and stuff in my French class, I don't know why. I guess the teacher just liked it. 
I mean, it was good. Can't complain. Definitely appreciated it. It was nice watching it, and also, uh, it was nice, you know, having just a movie to watch in the class. Because, like I said, it's a lot nicer. I mean, I didn't really learn anything from it because my French is still, like, atrocious. Which is coming back to bite me in the ass now. But, it's still worth it, and I'd rather have that than, like, a class match. Which is Watching movies in class. Okay, there's one more. Is this an I don't remember there being one. Yeah. There are only like ten this is okay, this is a new I don't know how this one works. Well, I guess I won't find out what it does if I don't hit the game tower. Ah. Oh, I can't even blame the game. It's just me messing up. Game of skill, no luck in balls. How? I it just wanna hit the game. I don't even know. Fuck. Ah. Okay, I'm gonna be real, I have no idea what the fuck that did. Oh, it's supposed to like fall in it or whatever. I thought it was gonna like create a new area for it to drop in. I guess no. Don't eat me old monster. I'm rubbery and taste sick. Who are you calling old? Right? I'm young. I'm youthful. Also, as long as you eat, I don't care if you taste like mercury. I don't even know what that tastes like. I care if you are mercury, because that's poisonous or something. But if you're not, that's fine. I can eat you then, so. <laughs> Let's find out what the electric bolt ice. Go 
feel like this would be a lot easier. I guess it is an infinity symbol. I know that Ouroboros is actually executing it too. That's, not, that's a circle, not like an infinity shape. It doesn't have a circle in here. I mean, you have like a sea serpent or whatever in the background, I guess. This is not really any special. At least you should just have two snakes. Also, why does the dark character in the background look like an Ocelot? I don't think this is a cross-eyed death glare. Does all the stuff above it or something, maybe? I don't know, I think. Whatever. I have a better I it does something with the peg. Zaps all the stuff above it. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. Now that I know how it works, after you know, taking like forever to figure it out, I like that. That wasn't very good. That was That was almost as bad. Kind of even worse. Oh, thank you, game so much for watching. I wish I could do that.
Okay, that was pretty nice. Thank you, game, for being generous with the points. I needed that. Does it go? Oh, it goes in a line to the point I hit. Oh. Oh, okay, I get it now. That's cool. That's even cooler. I thought it just went, like, straight up. Which is why I was trying to, like, put it below the stuff that really had the, a lot of, like, the orange type chunks above it. Right? So that makes more sense. Fuck you. Institute shaped object in the distance. That's the institute. Uh, well, guys, we're going to the institute. Do I know what the institute is? No, I wasn't even paying attention to what this place But, going there. Isn't that cool, guys? The institute. I'm sure y'all wanted it into your dreaming of Hey, at least you're not institutionalizing me. That's something. Well, that's a start. Not like in real life. Okay, I really like this game. Yeah, it's like a button to play. That wasn't ideal, but it's not bad either. I think we're at Peg Lantis, guys, but it's in the sky this time for some reason. I didn't notice it the last time. If I beat this level, I'm certified as a peg lord. 
master pack. orange pack would be nice. Pickle Master for real. A new master appears. Incredible beyond the expenses. Time to you. No. I thought there was no way. Her because I think that's what you want to do. I don't think it's I'm, normally I'd probably go with uh, Space Blast one or something, but her ability is pretty cool.
Let's go. It kind of opens up like a weird path. If I were to do it properly, it's like, it's not a guarantee. Listen closely, you can hear my brain dying instantly. In fact, did you know my brain is dying? That's alcohol. You get infected. Definitely now remembering why I don't take my meds when I'm having an anger. Oh, 
thousand. Why does this not do it? How can I not say it? Words are hard, okay? That was kind of That boy, I'm tubular. Epic. Game in my face. That also is pretty cool. Ignore these moments where I'm not tubular.
Ace or no ace? Four hundred thousand aces. I can't even think straight right now because that was that was all stupid. Four hundred thousand aces. Master of the five elements, sun, butterfly, heavenly Um, well, I can't, I just get it. Four. I have dimension. Also, are these supposed to be other planets, or are they just like meteors falling through the sky of the earth? I like the. I hope it's like ladder because that's cooler. But I don't know. I lose it too. Oh, it wasn't that bad. 
I got the game says I have skills. I officially have skills. Okay. Use skills. Okay. The game said so. So I can't put it in lighter. Pe peggle and lighter. See this chat? I'm a I'm a pegging pegging master. I'm the number one pegler, except maybe Lisa. Who's a good one? Anyway, that's all for today. Lots are in. Uh, make sure to check out anyone else streaming today. Lots of viewers. Uh, make sure to check them out. And goodbye. I'm a real light.